Well, we've had some real crazy weather here and I did something this morning. Um, as you may have seen in some of my videos, my hair was a lot shorter and um, I was going to get a haircut just before lockdown happened. And now I'm regretting not going to the hairdresser because my hair is going crazy, crazy and it's growing all different lengths and yeah, well, I'm just going with it at the moment. So I did something this morning, wet my hair, went outside and my, I should have videoed it, but my hair was like <laughs> standing up, well, maybe not that big, but standing up. And I thought I'll go and wind dry my hair without having to style it. Well, it worked and well, it's a bit crazy. That was like hours ago now, but anyway, I just thought I'd drop that one in there. I'm actually learning how to calibrate my Cricut Maker machine because um, I have got some stickers that I'm going to be adding to my um, Etsy shop. Um, cute little unicorn designs for first birthdays or birthday girl, um, you know, sparkle joy and one of a kind unicorn. So they're really pretty, really cute. Um, I'm super stoked to get them up on my Etsy shop, but I have to learn how to actually make them into stickers. So I'm calibrating my machine at the moment. Um, I didn't realize I had to do this until I was watching how to make stickers. So um, here we go. Oops, I better just get back on my iPad just to make sure where it's at. Without unloading the mat, examine the lines around the small square in the middle. Does the cut line touch the printed line in all the line all the way around? Um, well, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Yes. So I mark yes and continue. Interesting. Shall I give you a bit of a sneak peek? Woo. There you go, that's enough for the moment. Because it's not finished yet. I'll show you properly when it's all finished. Cutting calibration line. Well, I hope this works well. Soon find out. So without unloading the mat, examine the lines on the top and right of the calibration sheet. Which one has the cuts closest to the center? I think I need to take my glasses off for this. To the center. Mm, maybe 13 on the top. 13. Okay, and on the right, um, P, 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 P. Okay, so like I said before, I didn't realize that you needed to calibrate the machine. Um, I've just gone and print, you know, cut and print, um, well, cut uh, vinyl. But I guess because I'm doing something different, you know, the stickers and it's a different um, process. And um, so I'm glad I'm doing it now. So I need to just continue, get this done. Oh, okay. I think it's doing another 
Um, Cricut Machine Performing Test Cut. Okay. Maybe it's the final test. Okay, what does it say? Unload the mat, remove the calibration sheet, and mark feedback below. Let's just have a look. Oh, that's pretty darn good. Okay, cool. Unload it. Let me have another check. That's spot on. So what the, what the calibration does, well, first of all, it actually tests the sensor. Um, the sensor on the Cricut machine will actually sense the outline. And then it does all these little lines, cut lines on these black lines that you see here. And you've got to pick the one that is closest to dead bang on um, center of one of these numbers up here. And it does the same down here as well. So I've just done that. And my test is now complete. And that is perfect. So let me just put my glasses back on. So um, are you happy with the cut? Yes. So it's just asking me questions on my iPad here. Um, I would have done this on my computer upstairs, but it's obviously not reaching and reading my Cricut Maker. So my iPad does. Perfect. Which is what I'm going to be using all the time when I'm down in my workshop anyway. So now I'm going to click done. Um, oh, I'm going to go back into my designs. Um, which is that one? Um, okay, let me move this. Oh, yep, yeah, that that cut perfectly. Come on, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, reprinted it out so now just ready to see if the calibration works correctly um, load here we go I hope it works Obviously, just sizing it up. I'm impressed. Very happy.
these stickers are a matte finish. However, um, I think I would like to make them um, a shiny finish. So I will use up the sticker paper that I've bought for the moment, which I think they're super cute. They're really nice. Um, I would like to compare the difference. So yeah, next time I will purchase the um, like a gloss finish. But I, I really like the matte finish as well. It's the look that I was going for, but it would be good to compare which would look better. So, but I'm aiming to sell these on my Etsy shop, either individually or um, in, in a package with my first birthday tutus. I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. Super stoked. All right. Just need to learn how to get them off of this better. I actually think that's the most um, thread I've actually had for an embroidery all laid out. <sighs> Would be nice to have a multi-needle for sure. But anyway, that's as close as I'm going to get to one at the moment. And having it all laid out here is super helpful. Just got to make sure that it doesn't get tangled up with any current thread that I'm going to be using. Um, at least it's all there. And I have my little sheet of knowing which thread is coming next. I recommend you doing that. Um, very helpful. Very helpful indeed. So anyway, I'm going to get started.
come down to keep me company and then end up like this. Thank you.